here with soccer mommy Sophie. If we, before we get the interview started and before we get talking about the new album, I gotta ask the hardest question of the whole interview, right off the <laughs> rip. What is your go-to Avril Lavigne karaoke song? I know Under the uh, Skin was your first CD that you own. Is there a song off of that that is your go-to karaoke song? Because mine is for sure my happy ending. Oh, that's a really good one. I think I think um, there's so every night I feel like I'm spilling a secret here. Um, <laughs> every night uh, before we do like our walkout song, uh, Todd, the sound guy will play complicated. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know for a fact I never do karaoke, so I don't have an actual one I've done. But I know for a fact that that's when I can sing very easily. So I'm singing it backstage, but Todd will, <laughs> Todd will do this thing where he'll wait for everyone. Cause I, I that is a song where everyone is going to start singing it yep. no matter where you are. And he'll like, do like a, a dropout <laughs> to, like while people are going into the chorus and I can always, I'll have my ears on so I can hear it like very loudly. And it's really awesome. It's really sweet. <laughs> so that would be mine. <laughs> so, and the other question is, on the the for shotgun you released like a card is that a magic the gathering card or pokemon card i was having a hard decision of which trying to figure out which artwork that would which you wanted to portray so i i remember they like they brought up the idea of a trading card to me and i was like i said magic the gathering so that's that's what it is it's not a obviously it's not like direct pull like they didn't like you know grab it and, and replace but it's definitely based off of that i was like let's get some some magical energy into these cards are you playing if it's, magic? if it's the vibe are you playing magic the gathering no no <laughs> it was just a visual oh. visual inspiration i i did i was a big pokemon like i have i still have some um some of the cards that I had as a kid from Pokemon in like a Charizard Wendy's box um, that I have held on to. So I was, I was into that, but that was pretty much the only card game I was, I was ever really into. Have you picked up those Pokemon cards now and seen the value of them and seen what they're worth? I, I think there would be some value because I only kept the like, um, the like more powerful ones. <laughs> Just in case, I guess, in case I was thinking someday I needed to like play, I could own somebody in Pokemon. I, I mean, some of them are going for like a million dollars on eBay, like Logan Paul. I definitely had, yeah. don't have that, but <laughs> I, I would probably have some like hundred dollar ones. Oh, nice. I would guess. I mean, I also have, I, I have one of those like ancient muse. I don't, I don't know why I'm like acting like everyone's going to know what I'm talking about, but where this, this is a really lame card because it's like this fancy looking card. And if you play it, you just win. What? I never yeah. knew about that. <laughs> so, well, cause like basically, you know, you'd have to have like it in the deck. And if you could, if you got it and you played it, it would just, you just win. It was really, it was a lame thing, but I have one of those still, but I think they, I don't think they're worth that much. I think they were like produced after like one of those movies. Oh, I got you. Uh, yeah. How how did you and Daniel connect and to produce the producer of this new album? Um, we connected through my label, really. Like I, when I was first, like I wrote the songs, obviously, and then when we started talking about what are we going to do for the next album, you know, who's going to produce? They sent over like a list of some ideas they had, mm-hmm. and I saw him on there, and I was like, I mean, if we can get him, yes, that'd be so sick. And he was like down. So we just, you know, started talking about like picking out dates and started like texting ideas and stuff. And boom, that was it. What was the first song you made with him on the new album? Something forever. Uh, it was bones. Forever. It was, it was bones. Yeah. That was the, that was the first day in the studio. Cause we kind of did like two separate sessions and the first one was only like five days. Mm-hmm. So we just kind of did a lot of like live taking, but Bones was the first thing that we started on. And uh, what song are you most excited for people to hear from the new album? Oh, that's tough. There's so many I'm excited about. I think I think Unholy Affliction might be the one that I'm most excited about. I don't think anyone is expecting what's coming. 
<laughs> um, especially after shotgun. Uh, I'm really excited about that one. Um, uh, that one and new demo are probably the ones where I, it's not that they're necessarily just my favorite, like songwriting moments on the record, but they're like, I just feel really pumped about how, like everything we did on them. Now you've rocked under armor, you've rocked and you're very fashionable. <laughs> How would you ever rock affliction, though? I don't know if I would. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could also see. would never rock uh, Under Armour again. <laughs> that would be very unholy. Yes, very okay. unholy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if you could have a demo, a new demo of any video game uh, song produced like writing or I know it's hard for you to kind of collaborate at times. Mm -hmm. If there was one person that you could get a a new demo from who would it be or what would it be? Um, I definitely, this is actually an easier question than you would think for me. I think so. The person who made Stardew Valley has mentioned they're like working on something else. And I would love to see that. That mm. is, that would definitely be what I would, I would want to be uh, playing it given, <laughs> given tips. I would definitely, I would love to score something for a video game. I don't think, I don't know if I have the skill in that, in that sense. Like I've never tried to score anything. So I don't, I don't know how that would turn out, but I, I, I would be very excited to see that new video game. So track number two, which is uh, with you and shotgun are dedicated to your boyfriend, Julian. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you tell him before you recorded them that the songs were about him or is it kind of how does that process work with being him being in the band? And I mean, it's great. We like, you know, we've been together six years. We live together. He plays and all the stuff. He's probably the first person to hear all of them because um, I'll ask, you know, like, is this any good? Is this any good? Um but no, I mean, he, it, it's a, when it's a love song, he knows, he knows <laughs> <laughs> who else it's been six years <laughs> since I was single. Oh, it's quite a bit of time. Yeah. <laughs> um, what inspires your fashion? I don't know. I kind of, it's just for me, it's just, I wear what I like. It doesn't have to be high fashion, low fashion, like, honestly, I probably like more just like thrifting and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, I feel like I definitely, if we're talking like fashion inspos, you know, hashtag, mm -hmm. um, I, I feel like a lot of the like nineties TV shows I watch definitely. I'm always like, they, every single thing that everyone is wearing is amazing. Um, so definitely a lot of that, but really, I mean, I like every once I go through phases, I'll be like wanting to dress super like. 90s all the time like grungy and then I'll be like really over that for a while and then I'll be like just wanting to be comfy <laughs> so it's it's really just kind of it's chaotic it's whatever I'm, I'm feeling what's been your favorite find thrifting uh oh this sweater actually I love I love this sweater I got at the yard sale nice it's like it's like kind of plaid it's nice in um What's your favorite kind of ice cream? You mentioned beer. You, there's a lyric. I can't. I wrote, forgot to write down the song title. But the you beer and ice cream. Yes. Yeah. What is? Um, I like. I mean, there's a, obviously a lot of different ones. My kind of go tos. I really like the Hagen Dazs coffee ice cream. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I love Jenny's ice cream. Um which is embarrassing because I worked there. So I feel like after working there, I, I definitely don't ever want to go back there, mm -hmm. but their ice cream is really good. And they have like the brown butter almond brittle. So good. Oh my God. It's like literally heaven. Um, those. And I mean, I love a good mint chocolate chip. I know that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of a psycho answer. No, <laughs> on no. Ice cream. <laughs> like mint. <laughs> It's a little weird, but I do. I do like that. I mean, any kind of cookie dough thing is always good. You're um, all over the board. I mean, I like <laughs> I like most ice creams. I'm not one of those people who I don't really like like fruit ice cream. I think that's what I don't kind of like or like sorbet. It's like it is good. I had to, when I worked at 
I worked at an ice cream place. So I had to try all of them. And I was always like, that's good. But I'm like, never going to like choose that. It's just kind of like, let's, let's go all the way. So we're going to have ice cream. So your perfect pairing with ice cream would be, would it be playing Nintendo? Play, what game would it be? If you're having like a show moment. Stardew, Stardew, ice cream, and a Coors Light. <laughs> I don't really drink beer that much actually anymore, but it is really good with ice cream. I've never had Coors Light. It's like a thousand cream. calories. <laughs> oh, well, hey, it's okay. Hey, whatever. No one's counting. <laughs> no one's worried about any of that. Um, what <laughs> You have uh, what was one question you do not want to a- ever answer? Wait, ever. what? Sorry. What is you have the song uh, Don't Ask Me on the new album. Oh. What is one question that you never want to answer? Um, I think at this point, I feel <laughs> I feel shady even saying it. But when people ask me how I got my name. That's a- I'm always just like, oh, God, I've said it so many times. And it's so un- it's also just partially that I, it's not like. A story. I'm just like I don't know. I was like <laughs> 17. I don't know where it and, came from. <laughs> and we all we all grow up after times, and it's yeah, like, hey, it's it's still a great band. I'm like I, it was just my Twitter name. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know where it came from. Where are all the items that Nardwar gave you? Like the Allison uh, 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 Iggy Pop doll. The mm-hmm. Smiths poster that you got is are they in the new house that you you and Julian have together? Um, the Smiths poster, I know exactly where it is in the house right now. I haven't hung it up, but it's it's here. Um, the Iggy Pop doll is at my parents' house, I believe. And he gave me a Virgo record, too. And that is over on the record shelf somewhere near so- right near me. I've always I've wondered that, like, what what do people do? Do you keep it or it's like, where is it? You can't throw that away. You, <laughs> no, have, to, you have to keep it. You've got to keep it. I mean, some some, you know, the the Smith's poster was in my room for a long time. I was like, this is a sick poster. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, I will be hanging this up. Um, it was in my room and then we moved recently and I haven't like found its place really yet. Um, just because I we like we moved in at the end of like on February 1st, basically. Yeah. So, and then went on tour. So we haven't really done too much to the house yet. In the song, feel it all the time. You mentioned driving a few times mm-hmm. in there. Where's your favorite yeah. place to drive to? If you could. I have, I have some spots actually. I love late night driving out to the sequel chase here in Nashville mm-hmm. is great. Cause I like, I like to go out there and like in the summer and like stargaze. Um, so there's that. There's a on the way out to Radnor Lake in Nashville. There's on the street Granny White. There's like it's just kind of this straight shot, but it gets really woodsy and it's really nice. Um, so there's that. And there's this specific spot that I always think about with that song that's not it's not particularly beautiful or exciting, but it's just on this street by my house, and you're coming from like it's like a long street that like leads like kind of everywhere and when you're coming from like my area going towards it around like like maybe like around sunset whenever that is depending on the time of year you can just like see so much of like the sun and everything it's pretty cool but it's just a random spot it's not anything particular so is there a soundtrack that's playing or is it just quiet in the vehicle and you're Depends. just quiet? Oh, I'm going to play music. It's never quiet. I have a lot. I'm a big CD person for the truck. Um, I didn't have an aux cord for a really long time until my stereo got broken. Um, but yeah, I just, I love having music on. It's kind of always on or country radio. What are you listening to currently thing. right now? What What's your um, top, top three picks right now? I've been listening a lot to... Actually, the Smiths. Um, what's that orange album called? The one that's all orange. <laughs> I don't. Oh. I don't know what the title is. Louder than bombs. That's what it's called. Um, I've been listening to that a lot. I've been listening to the Sundays. The one that's again. I don't know what the album is called. Mm-hmm. Head. The one that's like the shells. Not blind, but the other one. I've been listening to that a lot. 
Um, oh, reading, writing, arithmetic. That's what it's called. And I've been listening to... I was actually listening to a lot of FK Twigs nice. recently. Um, and uh, on, on tour, I barely listened to any of my own music because I was sitting up front. So I was kind of like just listening to whatever people were playing queuing up on the yeah which was kind of cool it was kind of nice to like just hear a bunch of music i hadn't heard or wasn't too familiar with and just kind of hear some new stuff there's a lot of, we we're listening to like a lot of metal nice actually for some reason <laughs> like a lot of like hard rock and stuff which was uh which is a nice i don't need to listen to indie rock all the time would you ever mm-hmm. make a hard rock song um I mean, I almost did on the last, on this last album. I I couldn't go full that direction just because I don't think that I a I just don't really write like that. Like it, I think it would just be kind of cheesy if I tried to do it. Mm-hmm. And also, I don't think my voice suits that very well. I can't like scream really. If I or actually, I guess I can. You can. Uh, um, <laughs> but it's only this one. When I scream, it's like one high pitched note. It's like very shrill and like, um, like it's like a death scream. It's not like it, it wouldn't it wouldn't match well. I don't think, and I'm okay with that. That's all right. I'll leave it to other people. Being the current is in Minnesota. What has been your favorite Minnesota memory? Do you have one that sticks out? Um, I really liked when we played. Um, I played. I think it was Seventh Street Entry. Mm-hmm. I think with Liz Fair, that was really cool. That was the first show of that tour that I did with her. And I was just playing solo and that was a really good time. It was the first solo show I'd played in a long time. And I was doing this whole tour doing it. And it's kind of nice. It's like low stress. It's just fun. I was just kind of like traveling. I was completely alone. No one was with me. So I was just kind of like on my own, doing my own thing. I actually think I wrote, I remember on that tour, I wrote up the walls mm. in a hotel. So I, it was nice. It was chill. Do you prefer touring alone or now with the band? I Would definitely go- prefer it with the band. Absolutely. It's just like more, you know, we're all friends. So mm-hmm. like we like to hang out and do stuff. Even if it's just like hanging out in our hotel room <laughs> during COVID. It's just like, <laughs> it's fun to be around each other. We're all, we're all good friends and We all are also really like interested in like trying like food and like, you know, finding the the, like best spots in towns. And so it's, it's a good time. Being from Nashville, where's the best in Nashville hot? Or is that not a thing really? Like, oh no, it's, (laughs) oh, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, The best is 400 degrees. Okay. That is the best in my opinion. And it's, kind of far away so i don't go to it that often um but it's so good it takes forever and it's really good that and i really like um i like bolton's a lot too there used to be a bolton's right near our house that we'd go to a lot but it uh that location closed so i haven't been in a little while now i mostly go to princes but but yeah those are i mean honestly those are kind of the top three in my opinion but 400 degrees is definitely like the best one. What the heck is a cowboy? Have you, would you ever re-record that your first song you wrote or ever with a little kid? It was what the heck is a cow girl? Cow, cow girl. Yes. Sorry. Yes. We all knew what a cowboy was. Um, I would never <laughs> re-record it. Uh, I did see a video of me as a child recently singing it, um, which was weird. I, I, for some reason, remember so much of it, I guess like, I wish I just would sing it a lot. I think when I was like six years old, but no, I wouldn't, but I do kind of, it's, it is funny because it just, it's, I think it's really funny that that was my, the vibe of my first ever song, just because we, I spent a lot of time when I was young in like, like Wyoming and stuff because my dad's from there. Mm-hmm. So that was definitely the the inspiration for that, like going like horseback riding and stuff <laughs> out there. So June 24th, sometimes forever comes out. What are you going to do to celebrate that when it comes is officially out? Is there a plan or anything? 
I think I'm going to be, I don't know if this is like announced yet. Um, it's not a secret. It's just like, I don't know if it's all booked yet, but I think we're going to, we might be over in the UK okay. at that time. Um, so I think, I don't, I don't know if there's anything specific on that day, but I think we'll probably do some kind of like, you know, like record store thing or something. I, I'm not totally sure, but I'm, I think we'll definitely with all the band, we're going to, you know, go to a, go get some brunch or something and have mimosas. I, that's actually what I, when clean came out, I was also over in the UK and that's what we did. We got mimosas at the place by the place we were staying at. <laughs> is, so it's kind of fun. That's how we celebrate is with brunch and mimosas. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice, you know, I don't brunch much. I don't, I'm not one of those type of people, but it is like, it does feel very celebratory to go have like some like egregiously big breakfast and like bottomless mimosas. You can't drink too much of that though. It's gotta be, if you're having brunch, it's gotta be bottomless mimosas. There's no other you got way. To. You have to be careful. <laughs> you have to be yeah. careful though. I've, I've seen it go south. <laughs> Oh, very, Wait, very it true. It goes south fast. There's so much sugar in that. Well, I appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to hearing the new album. And uh, yeah, much success. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me.